Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Twin Team Podcast. I'm your co-host Caroline. Co-host Kimmy. And today we have a very special episode. Very special episode. Yeah, we're gonna do something really fun. Yeah. So um I was like, Kimmy, why don't we like make really unhinged pitches and pitch them to each other? Yeah. And try to guess exactly what movie we're thinking of like we're pitching yeah, yeah. Well, as you guys know we are film girlies we love of film of course we, we are want to pursue film um i want to be a producer one day hey so um i feel like i am kind of a producer i'm, I'm a mini producer i'm a little producer I was say, yeah you are so producer, you know i'm i am a cinematographer so you know okay so we are gonna eventually one day have to pitch a lot of ideas yeah but this is for fun okay it's just gonna be like very unhinged um very out there um just uh, us pitching movies that already exist okay so we yeah. already have in mind what movies exist yeah so we know we are we know the answers to these yeah our co-hosts are gonna guess yeah okay yeah 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 so who wants to go first i say you go first okay so <laughs> this might be like a little riddle like it's more like a riddle oh i suck at riddles i suck at riddles. okay so okay it's gonna be it's gonna be a three-hour podcast you gonna edit okay <laughs> it's just you've been like uh so when the when the hit it and he did a uh i have no clue <laughs> all right so let's start white man is kidnapped into slavery with a little black girl a grown black woman and a couple of other white people they band together to help the white man make an addictive substance that he sells at an illegal pop-up shop they also infiltrate their competitors' religious dwellings where their competitor tries to kill them by drowning. And this is all accompanied by singing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh-huh. <laughs> a white man. Yes. With a black kid. Mm-hmm. It's Wonka. <laughs> Oh damn it! You got it so fast. Cause I, I it was gonna be more riddle. Cause, cause I was like, <laughs> it's because you said a white man and a, and a black, black girl. Kid. You said, mm. "Yes, Wonka." <laughs> we watched that. Yeah, that's crazy. And then I put a company by singing. I completely forgot they sang in that movie. I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> really? why that, that's what threw me off. I was like, he goes, "Sorry, no doll. Sorry, no doll. Well, that movie is never, is, is never, ever so unhinged down. and mm-hmm. so chaotic and. It's kind of camp. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of camp. Sorry, Noodle. Sorry, Noodle. I don't know why Timothy did that. Yeah, I don't neither. know why he did that. Me neither. Are you ready? Because I literally just did like one sentence. Okay. Type beat. So okay. after the sentence, that's it. That's all you're getting. Ready? Okay. Ooh, which one should I try? It's up to you. I'm reading mine in order. Oh, I guess I'll read mine in order. Okay. A group of captives try to escape their captor while their captor tries to make pies out of their bodies. Sweeney Todd. Nope. Damn. Make pies out of their bodies? I I purposely was going to put the type of pie it was, and I said, no, because you're going to think Sweeney Todd. And the minute you said Sweeney Todd, I was like, damn, I'm glad I said pies. Because yeah. at first I put meat pies. I'm like, no, she's going to think Sweeney Todd because it's not meat pies. Read it again. <laughs> A group of captives. A right? group of captives. Yeah. So, yeah. So they're, they're, oh, wait picture this okay <laughs> i'm trying okay I'm I'm, trying. I'm I'm gonna like elaborate a little bit okay they're on a farm okay and they're held against their will and the person that owns the farm is going to use their bodies as pies are you sure i've watched this possibly possibly because it's it's like i it's on netflix and i'm like oh i feel like you would have watched it it's like it's a kill it's a kid's movie it's a kid's movie all of my movies are kids movies oh shit no so uh, I was like, a, 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 a kids movie where they're gonna eat somebody? That's like Hansel and Gretel type shit. Is it like again in that vein? They are <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna elaborate a little okay. bit. Okay. So the captives they always try to escape, except for one day when a mysterious person falls out of the sky and is now trying to help them escape their situation. Girl, read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Okay, because what I'm gonna say is gonna a group of captives try to escape their captor while their captor tries to make pies out of their bodies. I keep thinking of like um Peter Pan or something. Nah, let me know when you're you're you like 
like I said, the, the one person that actually helps them succeed in escaping fell out of the sky. Fell out of the sky? Yeah. Fell, that's like the key? Yeah. Fell out of the sky? Yeah. Fell out of the sky. I'm trying to think what fell out of the sky. Like, re, like, repug- no. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. I it's, need another hint. It's it's a clay animation. It's a clay animation. Oh yeah. no! Like this this is gonna get. It's no. an English clay animation. I don't think I've watched that. English clay, clay animation. English clay animation. Yeah. And the person falls out of the sky. Is yeah. what? What? Can I ask the year? Give me a year. The movie came out. Yes. I have to don't. Look this. Oh, no, no, no. Like, it, like it's in a in a general vein, not the exact year. Oh, like, I don't early know. Two thousand. I I, I, I remember. I remember watching this as a kid and oh, laughing. So like early two so, thousands. Read again. <laughs> a group of captives tries to escape their captor while their captor tries to make pies out of their bodies. While they're captured, they he's trying. They're trying to make pies. Yeah. So if the captives Ooh, okay. stay, if the captives stay at this farm, they will be made into pies. So that's their motivation of getting out because the person who has ha- who has them captive wants to make pies out of their bodies. So the main character is it a boy or girl? The main character is a girl. The main character is a girl, mm-hmm. not the one who fell out from the sky. The person who fell out of the sky is a man. It's a man, not yeah. a boy. Yeah, a man. Yeah just pg what hmm? is this <laughs> it's pg it's 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 a kid's movie it's a kid's let movie. me know what you dead eyes let me know it's what you a give clay up. animation clay animation they are the biggest clay animation studio one of the biggest okay like you, i know you've watched their movies before because that's how big they are okay and they're english they're solely all the animations are english based like it's they like have the, english like actors and clay stuff. animation like Gromit and what's his name? Yeah, like, Wallace, it, yeah, same, it's same. From, it's from that yeah, vein. Yeah, it's the same company. Pies. Mm-hmm. You're getting so close. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. The uh, funniest part is you said Wallace and Gromit. I was going to put instead of this one, I was going to put Wallace and Gromit and the Curse of the Were Rabbit. And that's when I asked you about the animation, and I was like, "Fuck, she probably didn't even watch Wallace and okay, Gromit." Okay, so there's the like Wallace curse. and Gromit. There's Chicken Run. There's uh, I don't know why. You you might have to rethink this one. Why? Think hard. Why? You, like you kind of just said it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Wallace and Gromit. No. Chicken Run. Yes. Is it Chicken Run? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. They're captive. <laughs> their captor wants to make pies out of their body. No, she no, wants to make no, chicken no, pot no, pie. No, no, you're right. But I was thinking humans. <laughs> Like I could, I, like, I could say, I, I, I could say yeah, animal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it gives it away. Yeah, so I exactly. said a group. No, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> and I said he fell out the sky. I said, damn, right there, she's gonna know. Because rocket, are you gonna teach us to fly? Like that's the biggest. That's like one of the iconic yeah, lines yeah, in but that movie. Yeah, but farm, and then I was thinking like live action, like a live action movie. And, and that's like, why I said say clay animation. Farm, and I'm like, that's why I say clay animation. What is she talking about? I I gave you so many. It's got like, girl, oh my god, you are so lost. Yeah, I was. I was so lost. No, that one I. It was so funny because I was I was so proud of myself. I was like, they are captive. <laughs> Girl, I'm eating. Make pies out there. I literally put make pie, meat pie, and I said, no, she's gonna think it's Sweeney yeah. Todd. I don't want yeah. her to think Sweeney Todd. And yeah. I said pies and you thought that. I was but like, then the, the only reason it was I was getting stumped is because I thought it was a human. Like human. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, was no. good though. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm proud of that one. Yeah, that was good. Thank you. All right, <laughs> okay. your turn. So let's move on. I'm kind of scared. This one, yeah, this one, this one is easy. Okay. This easy. Okay. Okay. This kid's parents left him with the worst possible guardians. He is taken away from the guardians, not because of abuse, but because he needs to fight a war started by his parents. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's even funnier? It's because I was supposed to write the same really? fucking thing. I was supposed to be like, an orphan boy <laughs> who is abused in his early years uh-huh. leaves home but I was trying to, make to it- fight a war <laughs> that he has the biggest stake in. Like, that was really going to be me. Yeah. And I was like... Bro, she gonna I was know like, it's exactly. Harry Potter. I was like, I was like, how do I get her? I was trying to say like, I don't even know. Like he the was, minute like, you said a oh, boy, I said Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> a boy that is under the stairs. I was like, I was like, maybe I'll get her. Like you know, oh damn it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> this one. So then the next one you're definitely gonna get because it's literally so easy. I was like, oh, I'll make this one the, even easier. The funniest thing is these. I I made them all. 
I made them all like kids movies. Okay. Like movies that we okay. definitely watched when we were children. Yeah. This one, if you get it, bro, I don't know, bro. Like you be goaded. Okay. Newly wedded interracial couple faces racism to the utmost degree while family tries to trick the couple apart. And this is a kids movie? Yep. Shrek? Shrek? Deep. <laughs> is it Shrek? It's Shrek 2. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. You got it. I, I was like, I got her with the interracial couple. <laughs> She won't get it. <laughs> you got it. I said face racism. I said, no, the daddy was like, what the fuck is this <laughs> nigga doing at my table? I was like, oh. And mind you, the daddy is a fraud. Mind you, the daddy is a Racism. Like, it's crazy that you really have racism like that. Damn, we're, I don't know what we're going to talk about the I'm rest about of this damn podcast. We, 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 we just about we to shoot the shit. I'm about to say, we got to make this a little harder. I don't know. I think we're just so... We're so goaded. Yeah, we're so good. Yeah, we're so We're good. actually the we're best, like fucking best. Class, yeah, like, yeah, fucking yeah, best. Yeah, fucking best. all A's. Bro. Yeah, go ahead. Next one. Anyways, pitch number three. Mm-hmm. A gay girl and her mother battle it out through many dimensions. Oh, what? <laughs> That's literally all it says. A gay girl, oh, a gay girl and her mother battle it out through many dimensions. Um, and the mom's twin husband. A gay girl, mm-hmm. twin husband, <laughs> mom. No, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Twin husband, mom. Yes, battle it out. Yeah. She's gay. Yes, like in the movie, she's gay. Yes. Like not like giving gay vibes. Like no, she's no, gay. she's gay in the movie. Sure, watch this mm-hmm. for sure. You watch this. And the girl gay? Yes. And she with her mom? Yes. There's not many movies like this. That's why I'm lost because I don't think I watch <laughs> gay movies. <laughs> but what the fuck? You have watched this though. Bet. A gay. A gay girl and her mother battle it out um, through many dimensions. The mom's twink husband. And the mom's twink husband. Twink? Yes. Husband. So the gay girl fighting against the mom and the, the twin husband and the mom's twin husband. No, that's what they doing. They together. The mom and the mom's twin husband. Yeah. Yep. I like how you say twink. It's <laughs> it's, it's like you're trying to tr- trick me or something. I don't know. <laughs> so the gay girl is fighting her mama and her husband. Mm-hmm. Okay. Through many dimensions. Mm-hmm. And you sure I've watched this. I'm sure. You know it. You know it. Come on. Oh Come my on. god. The way how I'm saying her like You know this. I want to say Doctor Strange so bad. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Cuz uh, the, girl the girl is gay. The girl ain't gay. I thought the girl was gay. Never mind. Chavez? America Chavez? Yeah, I she thought ain't she was gay. I thought she was gay. You would watch that you watch Doctor Strange? Yeah, I did. You watched that one? She wasn't gay. I thought she was. Maybe she was. I don't know. I don't think she was though. I uh, mean the bangs, the bangs. A gay girl mm-hmm. fighting her mama and her mama twin husband. Mhm. I'm like so shocked that you didn't get. I was like, this through is many like, dimensions, because like, I'm, dimensions. I'm like, I'm like, is it Spider Man? No, no, it's not. No. So which dimensional movie have I watched? You watched. You watched. A you gay watched. girl. Yes. Husband, mama, husband, and twink. Mm-hmm. I did put other stuff, but I feel like it'll give it away. You want me to say it? You might have to give me that. Okay. Uh, a gay girl and her mother battled it out through many dimensions. Featuring um, butt plugs. Everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> Why did I have to say butt plugs for you to get it? <laughs> Why did you say twink husband? He's not a twink. He's like, I don't twink husband. I don't, like, he's I don't giving, like he's a twink. He's giving like simp. Like, you guys said simp. I would have took simp. Simp out husband. You said twink. I said. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They're not. Yeah, they were battling it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> You said butt plugs. It just made sense. <laughs> it made sense. You know that's I put. I put. I put hot dog fingers. But oh, that would. Like, yeah, that would have been one too. Yeah, I would have gone. Got that. I would have gone it just like the butt plugs. Yeah, hot dog fingers and butt plugs. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, y'all should watch that. By the way, it's a really good movie. It's an amazing yeah. movie. I think. I think me and you cried. I. I was. I yes. Me and you both during cried. The first time yeah. We watched it. Yes. Yeah. Bro, yes. Yeah. We watched it, it together yeah. in the theater. It was so great. Don't don't let the description like. <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. It's actually Hot great. Hot and it, butt plugs, and we're like, no, but we cried. No, like, like it wasn't an we actually like moving tears. movie. Yeah, like, it was, it was such a good movie. It was great. Like no one's gonna watch that. No, <laughs> watch that it for the hot dogs and the butt plugs. It's amazing. Okay. This one, I feel like I might have to elaborate more on, but let's see. A vicious rivalry rivalry breaks out at school, putting two teens' love in peril. 
Okay. Um, just go again. Just read it again. <laughs> <laughs> a vicious rivalry breaks out at school, putting two teens' love in peril. A vicious rivalry breaks out at school. At a high school. Okay. I'll say high school. That's it. Romeo and Juliet. No. A vicious rivalry. Rivalry. What year? What year? Around what year? I was eight. So like. A vicious rivalry. This this movie came out when I was eight. Like I came back from Jamaica. This movie was the biggest thing that was pop on a popping. And a lot of stars that we know from this movie are still like stars. At least one person is still a big star today. It's- it was like a movie in the theaters. No. Okay, say it again. I can't say to the channel either because you would definitely get it. Okay, say it again. A vicious rivalry breaks out at a school putting two High teams. High school musical? Yeah. <laughs> the, oh, okay. minute, the minute I said rivalry, no, I was I like. you said channel. I was like, if it's Disney Channel, I know. I, the, I, but you guys, like, that was, that, that, I was like, wow, <laughs> I ate. Yeah, you did. Because of the whole. Okay, no, no, okay, no. okay, themes. <laughs> i'm so good at this (laughs) this one you're gonna get let's see an older sister adopts a dog that is more trouble than it's worth huh an older sister adopts a dog that is more trouble than it's worth i don't i don't (laughs) me giving eyes like blink 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 i don't i don't watch movies with dogs in it okay the FBI gets involved, threatening to take away her sister and the dog because of intergalactic needs. Lilo and Stitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I, I don't, don't watch this movie with dogs. Literally, when I was writing this, I was like, dang, what's another movie can you watch? Uh, you, were, you were like on your phone. I literally went like this. I said, <laughs> Was, I said, mm, it was funny because oh, I, I had put Jennifer's body uh-huh. as my tab, and I yeah. was like, "Oh, it's gonna be like, oh, two gay lovers uh-huh. um, fight." I was gonna do Jennifer, Jennifer's body is too crazy. I was, I, I was, like, I was, I was like, she was gonna, she's gonna get that. I, I literally was like, Bro, she's gonna be like, <laughs> it's on your wall. You're so not original. So I was like, I gotta think outside Something the box. Else, yeah, yeah. And then I just landed on children movies. Yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. I thought we should do more of them. You want to like Paul? Paul. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. Last one. Okay. A man runs into an unlikely family, teaches them to steal so he can repay his debt. What? Yeah. Say it again. A man runs into an unlikely family. She teaches them to steal so he can repay his debt. What do mean? Hmm? What do mean? Say it again. <laughs> A man uh-huh. runs into the family, like not- the unlikely family. For what the fuck? An unlikely family nothing because, to mind. because he has to repay a debt. So, like, this is a roughly around the time. Let me let me take out. Let me take out, man. Maybe that's what's freaking you up. Okay. It's an animal. Okay. An animal runs into an unlikely family. Teaches them to steal so he can repay their debt. His debt. Teaches them to steal. Yeah. To steal. Yeah. Teaches them to steal. Yeah. So an animal teaches this unlikely family, this very peaceful like family, to steal, so he can repay his debt. He teaches them to steal. Yeah. What, what what year? What year? What when is this? It's like 2006, bro. Like this is like all okay. The funniest part about this movie is that he teaches them to steal, and then later it gets revealed that he, the only reason why he's teaching them to steal is so he can repay his debt. So it was under the guise of, oh no, I just want you guys to live a better life. Like stop living so hard. What the hell? What does that mean? This is this this makes all sense. This makes so much sense. Okay, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. An animal runs into an unlikely family teaches them to steal so he can repay his debt i don't even know like gremlins like um et um this movie came out 2006 and you're talking about (laughs) et and gremlins (laughs) that came out in the 80s uh i just don't know that's why i'm like an animal who steals something this whole entire movie is about animals so stop thinking about human beings it's all about i watched this more likely. It was a big movie. It was a big movie because it had big people name in it. Like it came out in theaters. 
an animal. It's an animated movie. Okay. An animated movie about an animal who has to teach other animals to steal under the guise of bettering themselves when in actuality he just needs He's the, like stealing from like like other people? What is he This stealing? animal is stealing from human beings. He's stealing from human beings to repay his debt. Girl, I don't know. Okay, the, I'm, I'm, Okay, give me another hand. Another no, hand, I'm, another hand. Okay. This animal, okay? Right? People usually call this animal like nature's thieves. Like that's that's like they're like a oh they're walla? Uh, no that's not nature's thief. A raccoon? Yes. I never watched that movie. Which one? The one where it was like a rac like the they were in the house and it was like raccoons or whatever and then all of them like from like what's it called like they all like steal from the trash or whatever running away. What's it called? <laughs> I was even like, <laughs> she, said, she, she tries to give it away, what, and I'm like, um, what? What the movie? Over the over the hedge. Yes, yes. I never watched that movie. Really, I never watched that, that movie. movie. Was big because of our homeboy Bruce Willis was the voice of the raccoon, no. and that blew that movie up. And Anne Hathaway was one of the voices of like Mm-mm. the possum. It was like big, big people were in this fucking movie, and it blew up. Nope. And I never saw it. You That's know, you crazy. know, the only reason I know over the head is because I remember watching the trailer like so many times on like DVD. You've never watched it. Mm. I had a video I only game. Saw, like, I had a the video trailer. game. I had the movie. I was very much obsessed with it. The trailer like in front of like, you know, when you see like, welcome to the Disney spirit. Like some of those old like kid movies, they would yeah. play the trailer for that movie like yeah. before the movie on the DVD. Yeah. Which is crazy that we will still get an ad for like another movie yeah. in a DVD that we bought that we yeah. own. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. No, but I mean, it <laughs> also played up the, um the movie experience you know like yeah the true like you had movies. to hear all of the yeah. like ads before you yeah, get to the main if you think about screen. it i kind of like actually yeah we can finish out this episode with just talking about nostalgia and things yeah. that make us nostalgic because yeah. that really brought me back because mm-hmm. i remember being a kid and like my mom would start up like a movie and she would like pop popcorn yeah and get like little mm-hmm. candy especially if we had planned like a yeah. movie night we would go to like cvs where they have like the little box candy like yeah. how they have it in the movie theaters and we would like get that so it's like i get one like i get like m&ms i was obsessed with m&ms <laughs> regular chocolate m&ms i hate peanut m&ms mm-hmm. if anybody know me i hate peanuts um so it's like we get the regular m&ms and then we get like popcorn and then she would buy the oval rettenbacher popcorn that you got the pour over mm-hmm. butter so it made it seem like it's real and i was like Ooh! watching the movie and it's like a movie i've already yeah. watched a thousand times yeah. so it's like oh my god she made an event out of it when i was younger my mom um she would like make like hot chocolate <gasps> like and like you know what i'm saying like and you like you like we had the popcorn too and pop the popcorn but we had like hot chocolate Do you remember like red boxes too yeah yeah you have to like get the dvd that's the where we're getting all our dvds you know what's crazy because when that I, when i think about red box mm-hmm. i don't associate with a good time no no why um well, I'm going to get deep for a second. Okay. I'm going to share something. Okay. Um, so I, you know, lived in a single parent household. Mm-hmm. And sometimes some things had to get cut off because, mm-hmm. you know, the money can't stretch. Right. Yeah. So the cable got cut off. You mm-hmm. know, sometimes anytime it did, my mom would be just like go to Redbox and yeah. rent it out because that's way cheaper than rent. Right. So it's like anytime when I had seen Redbox, even afterwards, like when I worked at Publix, mm-hmm. it just like gave me, oh my God, the cable's off. Because mm-hmm. like sometimes like you get home. And you would like turn on the TV and it's just nothing. And you're mm-hmm. like, ah, oh, damn, the cable's off. Mm. And it's like, I remember being a kid being like, damn, man, I hate this. But even like you guys didn't have PPS? Like you like. None of those, no. Because they were all like in the Comcast thing. Oh. So it's like, we couldn't even watch those. No, but like you could switch to like channel four or something like that. And it would still come up like mm-hmm. with like connection like with the antennas or whatever no nah, because my didn't, grandma didn't have cable either but no, we, we would, didn't have that that's what i'm saying we didn't oh even have, okay like, oh antenna okay okay like that. so it was just like nah you just had no tv mm-hmm. my grandma my grandma stayed with no cable she did not <laughs> care like she's always she, she stayed day, with no cable day, she's never had cable <laughs> like you have to like go to like channel four and it'll play like pbs kids or like whatever like oh, that's no. that's why i was I, me and my siblings when you know about like pbs kids and like all those channels because we would watch it when we would go over to my grandma's house. Mm. My grandma on my mom's side because she never paid for cable, like never. <laughs> she a Haitian woman, but she a Haitian woman. She don't give. A, she don't. She like uh-uh. what, what? 
this TV, the TV work. <laughs> so it, it's working. It works. It's working. It's working. Look, kids, kids channel. Look. <laughs> you're like, like, you don't have Disney channel? No. <laughs> Disney right here. There's, there's PBS kids. Like, go, go watch TV. Like she, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. That's such a, that's such a Caribbean thing. Too. Like she, we just, got, we got, TV. we got TV. Look, look what you get. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, no. And honestly, I, I was vibing with PBS. I was rocking with PBS. Um, <laughs> no, but, but like, yeah. that's cute that she did like hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. I was about to say something that Gabby is obsessed with is that the Gabby way Dinger. Gabby Ding. Oh, we haven't. <laughs> it's been some time since we said Gabby name. Just, just throw a our bad, Gabby. our bad. Yeah, throw just Gabby in one of the episodes. It's all right. It okay, is, you're just gonna hear her over like a dub over. It's yeah, just, just Gabby. See my mouth, like, <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause okay, so Gabby every time like recently or whatever, she's like, oh, I like around Christmas time. I always Bro, make hot chocolate. Hold on, we making it sound like Gabby was holding a gun to our head, and what? it's like you, better, <laughs> you better say my name. <laughs> <laughs> no she's not no 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 of course not no why would she <laughs> that would never be the case anyways, and, anyways you were saying yeah so um <laughs> like during christmas time i always make like hot chocolate like mm-hmm. that was just like always my thing you yeah know? i'm like the i'm like the mom so i'd be like oh my god y'all want hot chocolate let me make hot chocolate so i just like make hot chocolate for like everybody in the house mm-hmm. To the point where Gabby, when she left for school and she came back, the every like now it's become a thing where it's like every time she comes back, she's like, "Can you make hot chocolate for mm-hmm. me?" Because I don't know why, but when you make hot chocolate, it is so good. And I mm-hmm. was like, I put Swiss Miss in there and I <laughs> and I give it to you. And she's like, "No, it's just the way how you do it, Kimmy. It just it brings me comfort." And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, "Okay." Like literally, she came home like two weeks ago, and the first night that she slept here. Um, she woke up and mm-hmm. I literally like went like I had went to the store previous and got milk, so I knew it was fresh milk. Got the milk, made her hot chocolate, and woke her up with it. And I was like, "Here, Merry Christmas!" And she was like, oh, "It's hot chocolate!" And I was like, "Oh, you're such a kid! Like, grow up." But I get it. I get it where it's like certain things just yeah. bring back like yeah. that nostalgia. Memories, yeah, because like that little trailer thing, mm-hmm. I miss. Mm-hmm. I genuinely the trailers miss. before the movies. Yeah, because I would yeah. actually like even when I was a kid, I would act like it's a movie. Mm-hmm. Like I would act like I'm in mm-hmm. the movie theater. So like I would set turn up, all the lights off and I just would set yeah. up my chair. Like yeah. I got to scoot into it. I like sorry, excuse me, because <laughs> I got all my Barbies and damn toys <laughs> and stuff watching it with me. I'm sorry, excuse me, pardon me, sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Ooh, just in time. Yeah. <laughs> Every made it. time, Whew. it's giving like um flushed away. You know, like when he had, oh, what's the, why that face? Yeah. Are you scared of flushed away? Mm-hmm. I didn't. There, sometimes it's so funny that like some things I say just be hitting Kimmy in the wrong way, <laughs> and she'd be like, "That thing terrified me." She's like, like, she's like, "Oh, flushed away." Mm-hmm. I'm like, she's like name i haven't heard in years <laughs> it's like the, why it's did like, flush away scare you i love that movie me and my me and my swings watched that movie really we had that I, one on dvd I, I had it on dvd yeah and the way how like i used to watch it like again you know we didn't uh-huh. have cable from time to time so uh-huh. it's like you would put it on i just didn't like the animation and it came from the people that i love yeah. animation wise i love wallace yes I love, wallace and I grumman think they're chicken called, run like, Ard, aardvark or aardmark or some shit like that i love wallace and grumman mm-hmm. i love chicken run mm-hmm. i i love everything they made but flushed away made me irritably upset it made me like liminal space upset and oh. i was like ooh, i don't like this then i found out years later that that company was trying something new which was having clay animation actually computer generated mm. so that's why it looked off because even i was like i don't like how they look and how they move their mouth and this just don't make sense like it don't, it's not but clicking. even then while it's a grandma and chicken run are kind of scary they also have a little bit a touch of a touch of luminal space in them oh they do for sure yeah, yeah but not like how flushed away did for really me. like i remember watching flushed away and i just don't know why it's just every time i think about it i think of like gray wet sewer like gray that's wet what it damp is. sewer and it's just not that's like what it, it is they're in a dirty ass sewer like they like the rat is all clean he's like a clean little rat no nah, i don't like it and he's in a dirty little sewer i understand but i just don't like it like every time like it's to the point where i don't even like i when i rewatch movies i never watch that uh-huh i skip that one oh. i say skip fuck that. <laughs> i hate that one i don't know flush away was just not a good yeah. experience for me never has, i think never also will. like maybe like another like nostalgic thing i don't know i don't did y- y'all didn't want you didn't want y'all didn't watch the tyler perry plays no but me my mom 
my mom is is, is an authentic black woman. <laughs> <laughs> she used to watch the Tyler Perry plays, and even to this day, like when she's feeling down, she'll still pop in. She'll be like, "Put him on my my top my my Tyler plays in the put him on my Madea play in the in the in a DVD player." So like, <laughs> I think it's to this so day cool we still watch like that. Some you of guys these. have like a like an actual DVD player. Mm-hmm. I don't. I just have my like PlayStation Four or mm-hmm. my PS Five or some shit like that. Where it's yeah. like I, I could just play movies. No, on No, we yeah. had to have a but, DVD like, player. But up you in guys that have house. like an authentic yes. one, which is like crazy because it's like, damn, yeah. I would love to have that. Like, like an actual. It's just a dvd player yeah like but we always like every single household we had like a dvd player like if one will break we get a new dvd player like just the dvd player that's even crazy. though we had like other devices like you could play a movie on the wii i think or something yeah, like that you can mm-hmm. you could play it on the wii i think it's like a slot or something like that. Is it the Wii? I don't think you could do it on the Wii. We I mean, also had a PlayStation though. You guys could play it on the PlayStation. Yeah. One you of guys those, could play one it on like was, Xbox, yeah. like mm-hmm. stuff like that. I don't think the the Nintendo Nintendo is not no not uh, oh. playback movie friendly. Mm. Sucks, Cause, but because <laughs> I remember the one of the features of the PS3 was that it was Blu-ray, mm-hmm. so you could play your Blu-ray disc, mm-hmm. and a lot of people lost their shit over it. People were buying the PS3 and was like, "I love my um, DVD player." Yeah, and I was like. It's a game console. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Like that, that yeah. really pissed me yeah. off. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we will play like we just we we need to have a D- DVD player in there. Yeah. And then Tyler, the Tyler Perry movies is like a staple in the house. So his movies kind of give me like a nostalgic vibe just because we my mom will play them like so religiously. Yeah. In the household growing up, but yeah, and we and then like the Red Box, it was that's nostalgic for me though because it was just like we would. Oh, like what movie is out new or whatever? Like it was always like, oh, we're seeing the newest movie like from the red box. That's what it yeah. felt like to us. And then like collect all our little DVDs and put them back in the in the, in the little slot. I love like putting the little thing in the slot and then it was just like it was just like take it from you. Yeah, it would just take it from you. And then you'll be like, ooh, I did a good thing. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Yeah. And then we also had like, I don't know if this is, I don't know. I'm gonna say it anyways. We had <laughs> we had. Those- I don't know if it's TMI or not, but. We when had, I was younger, I used mom's to gonna be like, "Why did you tell them that?" <laughs> and we used to like, you know, like, um, I, or maybe this is just a staple of like back in the days. They used to like flip, like flip the back of like the car up. Like people be like, "You maybe like we walk from the hair store." You mean and the bootleg like, people? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we yes. never in, no, we never did in that. Any yeah, we never did that. But, but the things yo, that we didn't do yes. was he like they would like you'd be walking out the store and he'd be like, "Oh, you know, oh, I got, I got such and such for the little kids. I got such and such for the little kids." And no. He was not flashing us. He had like DVDs, like dead ass like, DVDs in his like jacket. Oh, you or had he had a jacket. Him, I would, I would, or he had him in the car. Like no, no yeah, like with he the would car, literally yeah. pull up. He would literally like pull up, like like and have like different like in like CDs, and they'll be like written on with marker like different yes. movies. Yes, he had yes. him in his jacket. That's like, crazy. One time, and then like the other the other time, he would like just be like, oh, come to the car, come to the car, and he will open the trunk, and it'll be like all like the CDs lined up on the trunk, like lined up in the back, like lined up like with, all the way box back or whatever in the, in the cardboard yeah. boxes mm-hmm. lined up, and, and then they had that he, they had printed out that shitty ass <laughs> movie poster, and they put it in that clear fucking yes. plastic that you yes. fold over, yes. that you know after yes. like the fifth time you fold yes. over, it's not sticking no yeah. more that cd finna get scratched uh-huh. up you finna lose it uh-huh. it's like again that or you getting to fold over like actual cd yeah. that don't actually yeah like, that has no adhesive on it mm-hmm. bro those are the two yes and i remember my mom had a f- did she have like she had a she have the, like the oh i was to say did she have like, the black little book that like you had like yes. with all the sleeve of like the cds yeah my mom I, I, think, I think that was my dad did when we uh-huh. were in new york uh-huh. but my and how mother had have all the little kids movies written on them like i wasn't my my mom had an acquaintance that um that did that did what like he like that he would like come movies. to the house sometimes and mm-hmm. be like oh i got the new movie and you're like oh word and we just like watch it um that's how i watched are we done yet oh really yeah oh and funny part uh-huh. we we're talking about um phobias uh-huh i remember watching are we done yet oh like the fifth, in that first when no, and when no, he no, throws no. up are everywhere we, are, yeah are we there yet i hate it uh-huh. but are we done yet i was like oh there's no throw up that's fine like mm-hmm. i'm good with it right but that, that's not where she was pregnant right yeah that's when yeah. she's pregnant okay uh, whatever but are we it was so funny because are we done yet i have not watched it because my mom had made corned beef sandwiches mm-hmm. right so like corned beef is like a like and not like american corned beef i feel like it's like a, a caribbean corned beef yeah like libby's corned beef yeah she like made it for us and we were watching a movie and i ate so much corned beef like i felt my stomach so full i was like mm-hmm. damn i'm so full mm-hmm. then like i went to sleep that night and i woke up in the middle of my sleep and i was like oh my god i feel like i'm gonna throw up and i ended up throwing up in the Ooh. sink 
and it ended up clogging the sink. Ugh. And I was so pissed off because because the funny part is I had to. So throw. then how do, why does Ari Dunya get? Because I ate the corned beef sandwiches and watched the movie, and then because I threw up, I was like, "I'm never watching this movie again." Because in because my mind, it's anonymous with because, throwing up. Because in my mind, that movie made me throw up. Wow. And also, when I was younger, I didn't explain this in the last movie, the last last movie, last um episode. But like, I knew I had that fear because it took me a long time to throw up in the toilet. Mm. Like it, I was a kid that had to throw up in the, the sink because I was like, "No," because if I threw up in the toilet, it's real. Mm. like that's that was my mindset if i throw mm. up in the toilet it's, it's real. real yeah and to this day if i throw up in the toilet it's mm-hmm. too real for me mm-hmm. like it's way too real but i have like certain foods though that i never that i never ever i still eat. i still fuck up a corned beef sandwich really don't fucking get me. really yeah it's just that movie that's that's how i know it was that movie that made me throw up that's crazy to me that's not the food <laughs> <laughs> i still not eat the food it that made you throw I, up i still it's- eat it it's the fucking it's the movie. it was the movie because what, what else was different what else was different what much. else you ate too much of it no it's the movie what? Are we, i will never watch are we done yet wow. or are we there yet a whole movie just gets it, knocked it, out it of your rotation it made me throw me up okay it made me throw me up yeah no i have certain foods though that i'll never eat again because i threw up like because i ate too much of it as a kid like there's two mm-hmm. one is an ice cream sandwich like the regular vanilla ice cream with like the wafers on the side. To this day, Ooh. I still I still internally gag bro, when I like I picture it in my fuck mind. Them shits up, bro. I fuck them shits. Up. No, you, you know. Okay, no. so it's funny because like me, you know you know what's one I eat? What the Carvel ones? The little the one that's like in like those like little round containers and it's like little Carvel versions of them. That one I'll eat because it tastes a little bit different than the like little like square yeah, ones. Yeah, the square ones. Those ones will make. I, if I think too hard on it, I could you probably vomit. Yeah. Yes, I would gag. So those ones are no. You know what's funny? Because it's, I ate too many of them. You know what's so funny? It's mm-hmm. because my mom, you know, like your mom does like that thing where she's just like, oh, I don't know why my kids have ADHD. Uh-huh. And it's like, it's the the call is coming from inside the house. Uh-huh. My mom <laughs> for a year straight used to eat the Publix ice cream sandwiches mm-hmm. at bedtime. And they're tiny. Yeah. So she'd have two every single day mm-hmm. at bedtime. Then like hyper fix it on yeah and then there was a year where she ate nothing but um shrimp scampi like shrimp shrimp alfredo i think it was shrimp alfredo mm. she ate that for a whole year straight mm. breakfast lunch dinner breakfast like lunch dinner sandwiches. breakfast I lunch love dinner sandwiches. breakfast lunch dinner i would eat a sandwich was, every day of my life if i had to and the way how me and gabby literally gag <laughs> at like shrimp. it was the point where i was like <laughs> i can't do this no more no more like that um we we ate that a lot yeah um she used to eat this ice cream sandwiches now she don't really have no hyperfixation like mm-hmm. that like no no not like that yeah but oh my god yeah them, them ice cream sandwiches are crazy. i i can't i can't I them up. i'm sorry so, and the crazy enough it was like a movie night that was happening so my mom bought them like bought like a lot of them for us to eat and i ate so many of them that's hold why on. i threw a, threw them up hold on uh-huh. let us preference this our lovely Caroline is lactose intolerant. <laughs> no wonder your ass threw up. You ate so much, your body couldn't, couldn't shit even, it out. It couldn't even, it. It couldn't even it shit couldn't it out. Your body that said, shit. "It said absolutely not, absolutely not. I don't know what's going on. Absolutely not, babe. Needs to be out of me right now." I like how you said you threw. Yeah, yeah I want to run. Your body cannot process. And then <laughs> any kind of milk. And then the second one, what is um um red bell peppers. And that's odd, but I'll tell you why. Hyper fixation. You was no, that no, bitch that no. was eating it I'll like I'll tell an you apple. why. No, even then, even then, that's not why. I'll tell you why. We had like, I don't know if they had this at your school, but they had like a, like a, um, like basically like they would give, like give kids food to like try or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and take home and try the food or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know what, what program that was or whatever, but they yeah. just wanted to try different foods. And red bell peppers was one of them. Like, we would get different things, like star fruit. Try star fruit. It's so, like mm-hmm. one week you get star Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what it was called. Like, was it yeah. feed? It was like something feed or I don't know what it was. Yeah. It was like around the same time that they would teach us about dare. Yeah. Like the drug and alcohol thing yeah, yeah. or whatever. It was, it was, it was hand in hand, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That so they would give us like little foods and the food that they had gave us that week was red bell peppers. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember my teacher, mind you, I was such a, I was such a goody two shoes as a kid. Of course. My teacher was like, I love red bell peppers. And I was like, well, she loves them. I love them too. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> the way that I, because everybody, all the kids God were like, I don't like writer. it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I said, oh, just give them to me. I was like, just give them to me. I like them too. I, Cause I taste, I was like, I was like, it tastes good. I, I like them too. Just give it to me. <laughs> so by the end of the class, I had everybody's red bell peppers. 
And now since I have everybody's red bell peppers, I told the teacher I like them. I have I have everybody's red bell peppers. I gotta eat them. <laughs> oh my! I'm like I'm like staring so into horror because them. I'm sitting here like <laughs> little like fifth grader Caroline kicking her feet because her feet can't touch the fucking floor is downing these fucking red <laughs> yes. bell peppers. Oh I my ate god! Every single bag, maybe there's 20 students in the class. I ate and every every bag probably had five or six like cut up slices of bell peppers in them. I ate every single one of them. And oh, then I it went home. A whole bell pepper. No, it was like slices of them, like five oh. or six slices of bell peppers in like plastic oh, bags. Oh shit, man! But it was about twenty of them, and I ate all of them. Damn! I went home, went to sleep, woke up, dead as dead as woke up in my sleep, and I said, "Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no!" When I tell you that my vomit was bright red, of course, because oh, it you, was bright red and orange. First off, you your stomach was so <laughs> fucked up. Your stomach was so fucked. Ah! Your stomach was like. And ever since that day, I don't if I if I even taste a little bit of a bell pepper. Same thing. I said, you, I can't do this. I, like it has to be hidden in there, and I cannot taste it. Mm-hmm. Like I cannot taste it, or it's done deal. Done deal. That is so. That is Dundeal. so funny. Yeah. That's that's hilarious because all of yours was like I just ate a lot of. Yeah, this. I ate a lot of it. And I threw it back up. <laughs> the one thing that I it's have to say is that you're lactose intolerant. Yeah. As fuck. Yeah. You are so lactose intolerant. Yes. So yeah. it's crazy to yes, think. Yes, I that, am. To think <laughs> that she was eating ice cream. Then you was okay. I ate like almost like half the box of those. I know like, you probably did. Yeah. With your big <laughs> You know what's funny? Caroline is not a big bag person, but she a big bag person. When it comes to food, she should not eat. Yeah. The minute it I got really dairy, sh- the minute it got dairy, she is now eating two tins of fucking mac and cheese. And I really shouldn't. Like I really and, shouldn't. And, and, and she, I, hey, she she take she hey, she's like halfway hey. done, and she goes, "I really shouldn't eat this." I finally given up mac and cheese. It's, it's that's big. That's, that's big. Crazy. That's big. That is big as hell. That's big. That's big as hell. That's big for me. I. The way how you'll... The- I love mac and cheese. I love ice cream. I'm never going to give up ice cream. That's, that's just... <laughs> number one, that's know, just a guarantee. I, know, I would I never... Know, I know. I would never do that. But... I know. But macaroni and cheese, I gave it up. I know you did. I I'm surprised. Up. I'm surprised I gave did. it up. I'm surprised Ice cream, I only try to eat at home now. I don't... I can't eat it anywhere else. Cheese, no, in general, I'm because, never going to give up cheese. Because, like, I love cheese. Because, I can't give it up. Because you know why? Because I think the last time that we went out... And we had ice cream. And that was like when we had like the little group setting uh-huh. or whatever. We had went to um the Korean barbecue. Okay. You ate the ice cream. There was a point where I remember you sat there and you ate it. You looked me dead in your face and you said, my stomach's already <laughs> bubbling. That wasn't the time. And, 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 then, and then you just continue eating like nothing <laughs> happened. And I was just like, I guess my stomach don't bubble no more. No, no, and no. Then- that wasn't the time. The time was when we did the, the, the movie the movie thing. And I ate the ice cream, the Hagen, I don't know, Hagen dolls ice cream you gave me. That shit fucked my shit up. Like I was <laughs> fucked up. That's and I so was funny. sitting there, I was sitting there trying to like like shaking, like <laughs> fuck. Like everything fucking hurts. Like <laughs> out. Like, and I was like, see, I was like, this is why I gotta only eat ice cream when I'm at home. <sighs> that is so funny. No, but so I, sad. But when we was out and you was eating the ice cream and you really looked me down my face and you said, said yeah. My stomach is bubbling and I said, No, Caroline. And that's when and I switched to all I the s- men were inside. So I that's that's, <laughs> that's when you looked me down your face and you said <laughs> I switched to lactate milk. I'm God. Ooh, damn. What was that? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, it shit scared me. Anyways, yeah. No, nah, but like I'm glad you did. I told you to, to do that because yeah. I was like, I'm tired. I finally did it, but it's good because it tastes like regular milk. Like it's yeah. if it didn't, I don't it, know. Lact- I can't get lact- behind like lact- almond milk. milk or whatever because then mm-hmm. I eat cereal and it's not the same. Yeah, no, it doesn't taste the same, yeah. and that fucks me up. Like yeah, that that same. messes with me. I'm like, this doesn't taste like like cereal that I've always loved since I was a kid. Like it doesn't yeah. taste the, the same exact way. And sometimes when I when I'm like when in my mind I'm like, oh, I want to eat this specific food. I want to eat that specific food and I want it to taste exactly, exactly how same, I yeah. want it to taste. If it tastes even a little bit different, if I'm like, oh, I want mac and cheese, but it's not the exact mac and cheese I'm thinking about. Yeah. yeah, I got mac and cheese, but I wasn't exactly satisfied. Yeah. I wasn't perfectly satisfied and that means I didn't eat mac and cheese for real. You know. Like, I didn't eat that food for real. No. Because it's not exactly how I envisioned that food to to be. And no, taste. you're not wrong. Yeah. I, th- I do so. the same thing too, but I think that's just because we're on the spectrum. Because, <laughs> well, no, that. like when you were talking, I was like, Oh, it's funny because um, I you know y'all y'all know I'm I'm a consistency bitch. Like if it's not the right consistency, I don't eat it, mm-hmm. and that's why I eat my cereal dry. Mm, I can never. I I need it to be a little. I need I need it to be a little soggy. And the mush. I need I need it to be a little soggy. I don't like. I, why would I want to eat like 
like Cap and Crunch or Frosted Flakes and that shit is tearing my mouth up. No. Why not? No. No. I, you know what I used to do? I needed to be a little you soggy. You know what I used to do? I was obsessed with Cocoa Puffs as mm-hmm. a child. I used to sit there and eat it. The whole box. Yeah. Like a gremlin. <laughs> what I used to do is I used to put like three Cocoa Puffs in my mouth, right? Boom. On my tongue. Right here. Ah. Right? Suck the chocolate yeah. out of them. Okay. I could get and behind then that. And it's like, it's like, it, it it's like, it's, yeah, it's like, yeah. And I swallow it. Yeah. I could get behind that. I but like, chew actually, like, nothing. I said, <laughs> like a little baby bird uh, yeah but and, actually like ooh, ha- like it. just like going putting in my mouth and going <laughs> and then crunching it and having everything in my mouth just like be like all crunched up in there and then like it's soggy and then no i cannot i can't do it i'm not gonna do it that's so funny i'm not doing that no i need it to be a little soggy. i need to put it in milk have the milk absorb it and then it gets all soft and it's nice and it's good then we're talking now we're talking and plus i need the milk to taste like milk i even though i have lactose i need it to taste like milk Okay. I I yeah. I I keep saying that I have to buy those pills for you so that when we're out that you don't <laughs> I could eat ice cream. Yeah. Oh so my gosh! Like, and it's funny because it's from lactate. Yeah. And I think you eat it thirty minutes before you like you take the the, the pill or whatever yeah. before you eat something yeah. so you don't fuck your stomach. Yeah. Up. And I was like, that is so smart because at first I was like, oh, you know, Gabby's lactate lactose intolerant, so that'd be good to have for her. And mm-hmm. then I met Caroline, and that bitch but, is <laughs> lactose intolerant. But even Gabby then, can eat dairy and be fine. Yeah. I think it's something in regular milk that mm-hmm. she's allergic I to, think, and her body reacts. To I it. think I'm just getting older now, and it's like now as I get older, it's getting worse. Yeah, I think, or well, not. Really. <laughs> I seen that people supposedly black people can't digest something that's in dairy, and mm-hmm. that's why a lot of black people are lactose intolerant. But as black people do, we ignore we still it. Eat it. Yeah, we're like, so you want me yeah, to? You want not me to not eat mac and cheese? It's crazy, nah. <laughs> you don't want you're me. You're so funny. You say so. You told me the five layer mac and cheese I can't eat. They mm. got five different cheeses. I'm, I need cheese on my sandwich, so yeah. I don't really know where we're gonna go with that if I can't. Like, I, yeah. what am I supposed to do? You know? So die. Yeah. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm still gonna eat it. I am gonna die. So might as well eat cheese she is definitely dying <laughs> might as well eat you know the what's cheese funny, like, so what happens if you man. outlive everybody like you're like two. i know years like old. i'm just i'm just still there just you're, still you're lactose still like 200 years old me the and you're brent up dying <laughs> you're like <laughs> they're like oh she's finally gonna pass it's like no, no baby i just had just some gas. mint chocolate chip <laughs> <laughs> I just had some mint chocolate chip. My Jeff, asshole my, is on fire. Is, I'm uh, my moment. <laughs> I my think, stomach, I am constipated. <laughs> I think this I, may be. I it. am fucked up, but no, I am still gonna live. <laughs> like I'm five, gonna live. five hours later, you get up. God Amen. damn it, didn't kill me. Damn it. <laughs> I yep. want. I. You know what I want. I want some cheese in heaven. I baby. want some some sweet. <laughs> I need, you know what I was thinking? Mm, I might want a little something some sweet. sweet. Pass me the ice cream. Pass they're me like, the ice cream bucket. They're like, great, great grandma. You can't be Metropolitan. I need the strawberry chocolate and vanilla. Pass it right over here. They're like, great, great grandma. You someone's can't like, be this. someone's you like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an ice cream sandwich. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why your that's daddy like, is <laughs> ugly and your mama look like that. <laughs> Fuck you, ugly <laughs> bitch. It's like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but guys, <laughs> that's, I think that's where we're going to end it. We are going to end it. Thank on you guys you so bitch. much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank like, you. comment, follow. Um, Let us know if you want us to do any more like movie pitches. I feel like that was kind of fun. I like that. Yeah. I feel like we, we're going to we're gonna do that in the future. We're also going to do um the Think and Sync game that we did like a couple episodes back. Oh, Lord. Again, one day. So, yeah. Just look out for those in the future because I think we should revisit that. Yeah. I think we should revisit that. And I also like this game a lot. I feel like we should pick harder movies. Like, I feel like kids' movies are probably the yeah. most fun to do because uh-huh. it's like you just make it real. Yeah. Like, have you seen that really short tangent? Have you seen that, like, <laughs> really short, <laughs> like that, that, like, message somebody has sent? It was like, it was like, I'm not sure. If, it, I can't remember. But it was like they made Finding Nemo real. Mm-hmm. where they were like a single father loses his kid yeah and he has to go with a deranged he woman to go ahead and try to find his um to find his like lost son while his son is captive with other with other people and is trying to find a way to escape and the person was like oh my god what movie is that he was like find Finding Nemo. Nemo. i was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're gonna we're, we should do that more we're gonna do yeah. it more i feel like yeah. if we had a i feel like next time the genre should just strictly be children's movies mm-hmm. so it'll be a lot easier okay okay 
It, yeah, and yeah. then we both we know that we probably both seen it. All yeah. right, cool. All yeah, right. guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, subscribe. comment, comment. All right. <laughs> CK signing, signing out. out.